Hey everybody! Welcome. If you wanna watch, I can't stop you. But I don't lose. We've won two to the power of five Isaac runs in a row whilst on quarantine. I'll tell you right off the bat, I see my stats, I like where we're at. W9ZY7 Sen. Yo, Seven Sands. Now you're speaking my language. A dunk a dunk 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 dunk. Um What do I like here? What do I like? I like our damage. I don't mind our rate of fire. I love our HP. Yo, 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 no, no, no. You don't get to run, because you're a secret room waiting to happen. So what we're going to do is get you to move. We're going to try the upper. An attempt was made. Hey, it was an honest effort. Can I tell you, so we're going to do a little quarantine humor here. <laughs> it's You got to you gotta laugh sometimes, right? Can I tell you something that's been very funny for me? Is um, So I've been having my, my blinds open a lot more often. Um, a site that I see at least once a day, and Vancouver is a kind of an interesting city. You know, I, I, having been to a lot of cities, both in Canada and the United States, I, I, I wouldn't dare to say worldwide that this is, you know, the case. But, you know, Vancouver, like, like all places on Earth, has its own quirks. There's a lot of, um, it, it has a very Pacific Northwest vibe, you know, I, I feel like a lot of skateboarding, a lot of cycling. A lot of rollerblading, even now that the weather's a little bit nicer. Um, and and a very, like, it's a pretty techie city. Like, it's up there. Not not quite with, uh, no thank you. No thank you. Not quite with, like, Seattle. Not Obviously not with San Francisco. Um, but, you know, it's kind of there with, like, Austin and, I don't know. Other, other maybe, like, tier two tech cities in North America. So we got lots of gadgets and electronics and stuff. Uh, get to the joke, funny man. All right, I will. A sight that I see out my window every single day is, uh, and it's different people every time, but a man wearing a, uh, a surgical mask holding two grocery bags, usually with a little bit of toilet paper sticking out, solemnly riding his quote-unquote hoverboard back from the grocery store. It, it gets me every time. It's like, <laughs> it's, it's, is there something that is like cyberpunk, but it's like... I guess it's like boring dystopia, but it's not quite dystopian. You know what I mean? Just a a man that's, you know, dressed like a, a Fortnite character. Two pandemic stuffed bags of supplies in his hands and just riding his quote-unquote hoverboard down the street. You know, you know, when I say hoverboard, you know what I mean. It doesn't actually hover. I don't know why it's called that. It's more like a segue with no handles, but you get the idea. Just that... Makes me laugh every time. You know, I don't have my window open, I have the blinds open, but I still, every time I see it, I just, in my head, I go, Brrrr. I'm not hating, for the record. I'm not a hater. I'm a motivator. I actually, I think that they look very silly, but so what? I'm dumb. Let me go, let me go, let me go. I don't want to ruin my deal with the devil. I didn't want to ruin my deal with the devil. It was more sensible for me to take the L on the red chest. Um, I don't think it's... Let me put it this way. I, I like to walk, and I mean, I, I know that it's not... I don't want to say it's bad for you, because that's obviously wrong. It's not like you can be like, well... I walked for two minutes today, so there's my exercise, is what I'm trying to say. I know it's not going to make you jacked just by itself. Um... But I like to walk, you know, it feels nice, but at the same time, I can't deny that, like, you know, if you were going to take your car, it's probably better for the environment for you to take the hoverboard. It's just that they look so silly. Moreover, every time I, I see somebody that's riding one of those things with their hands full, all I can think about is what happens if you hit a crack in the sidewalk? Like, aren't you just toast? <laughs> I'm sure this is the kind of thing where I'm like, I bet there's... Dozens of videos of people just totally eating it. There's probably thousands of videos. Sorry, I'm from a... I was born in a different era when we didn't have this kind of video consumption. If you wanted to see a funny video, you had to wait until it came on Bob Saget hosted America... America's Funniest Home Videos. And we liked it! Hold on, this is... this is a big one. I would rather...
the safe bet is this, and then if you get three more cents, buy theirs options. I, w I would be down with that. I I've seen like I don't know if the hoverboards are particularly popular in Vancouver or like I I, I honestly don't know if if it's you know something in the city's nature has I guess maybe the fact that the weather is nice it makes them more purchasable for a lot of people because they can use them basically year round but I have seen some some great hoverboard sites in my life one of my favorites was back when I was playing a lot of Pokemon Go I would see this family um, puttering around and uh, it was like a an older man maybe in like his early 50s and then his wife similar age it appeared and then their young son who was maybe like you know nine or ten years old they all had their own hoverboards and they were just like driving around looking at their phones <laughs> it was just always like it's just a very strange sight to see that they're all like like they're let's go for a walk no let's take our hoverboards it's it just you know i'm not saying it's uh Unacceptable, just a little unusual, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Just just kind of strange. But you know what? Whatever makes you happy. Like Cheryl Crow said, if it makes you happy, it can't be that bad. Why wouldn't you use your ability to fly to get in there? You know, that's a little things you gotta ask yourself. Well, because you can use it here instead, maybe. Oh, give me the money, Lebowski. So Dead Cat. Is great for us, but I do wish that I'd known it was there. We could have gone back and taken Gimpy. Honestly, the reason I didn't take Gimpy is because we got that luck downgrade. Um, and I would much rather have this, to be honest. We're building the foundation for a good run here, though. So that's my pandemic humor for today. Um, hope everybody's doing well, of course, out there. I can live with that, Tears Down. I'm not happy, but I can live with it. Yo, okay, we can buy a key if necessary. Um, I'm gonna hit you with some serious spice, though. Not, you know, hot takes, but like game spice. I'm walking in here to check this. Power pill is fine. Bad gas. It's kind of a waste. Hey, that, was, that wasn't a big ask. Let's see what we got here. Man, okay, a luck upgrade and uh, quite a lot of money, actually. Think originally I was gonna buy a key, but now I'm like, don't buy a key, just buy, um, or like use your bomb to reroll and then try to get something useful out of the shop. Really, what would be like 10 out of 10, and this is uh, not big brain, but like medium sized brain, it might be worth fishing, even if it takes all of our bombs and even like the two pennies that we have that would still keep us at a purchase point that is acceptable, but. Um, or, you know, keep us at the amount of money to allow us to make a purchase at full price. You get the idea. Anyway, I'm getting lost in my own sauce here. Um, it would be really nice to get blue or red candle. Or black candle, but for different reasons. Um, to replace the Bible. Because we need, or would at least very much benefit from a damage upgrade. And if the only way we can get a damage upgrade is... Uh, well, the only realistic way we'd get one from a shop is uh, blue or red candle. I don't think like uh, any of the damage, uh, like champion belt, I don't think champion belt would do it for us in terms of giving us a meaningful improvement. Um, it's a touch spice, but I'm willing to fish for a stat upgrade. We already had the Bibles, or we already have the Bible, I should say, so I, I think that's fine. It's not really amazing, but it, it's at least okay. So we really, it's a strange run in the sense that we've actually gotten a little bit weaker um, than usual. Or the weaker than maybe even we started with. Hold on, I'm just, I'm fishing for potential second secret rooms. I think, you know, there's an arrow pointing up. Might as well take a peek. You don't know how awesome it would have been for that to be a blood bank. Especially with the... Uh, came be in conception man that would have that could have potentially pogged off take me down to the next level anyway how am i doing can't complain i mean it's literally only been like you know less than 15 minutes since i recorded the last one um you know what as as bizarre as this looks 
That's actually like a good play in my head. We could have waited for the Bible, I'll admit. But in my head, that's a good play because we're kind of trying to get KMB and Conception to pop off. Um, so if we can trade a Spirit Heart and damage for a Spirit Heart, we win. Or at least, you know, we win the trade. Uh, and of course, you know, I'm stoked to get the other Guppy item as well. Um, this is really, and I know we're talking a little too much Isaac here, but we did that sweet pandemic joke right at the start. That's a real story, by the way. I, I see people on hoverboards constantly. I also see people on those, like, skateboards that use your your phone as a, uh, like, a, a, a throttle. You know what I mean? I think the idea of those is cool, but all, it's just one of those. I think it, it, you look cooler than you do on a hoverboard, I'm gonna say. But at the same time, I'm just like, you know what? Maybe if those had come out when I was, like, 20, I would have been like, this is sick. At 31, I'm more like, eh. I, first off, I don't think I would look as cool as, as I would like to think I would look. That's very nice. But secondly, um, I worry that if I, like, broke my wrist, it would never heal right. <laughs> I'm not at the age where if I get an injury... Like, if I fall down, we should be like, oh, you know, things are dire. However, I am starting to get to that age where, like, you know, if you talk to someone who's, like, 60, and you ask them about their aches and pains, they're like, yeah, when I was 31, I twisted this, and it hasn't felt right since. So I'm trying to <laughs> try to minimize the amount of that possible. Um, I wear a helmet when I ride bikes, I do. You know, the one safety precaution I don't take, if I run on a treadmill, I never put on the clip that... I mean, if you've ever run on a treadmill, you've probably seen it. You know, it's a little clip that goes on, like, your shirt, and it also plugs into the machine. Um, and if you... If you yank the clip out of the machine, it signals that you've, like, collapsed, basically, so it turns off the treadmill. Um, now, this is a very young man's opinion and way to phrase this. Number of times that I have accidentally pulled the clip out through my normal running gait. 100%. Number of times I've actually collapsed and required the use of uh, that clip. 0%. I'm not saying it would never happen. All I'm saying is, for me personally, I've thought about it. And I think it's worth the relatively small risk in order to have the, uh, in order to ha to ne- Because there's nothing worse than being like 15 minutes into a run on the treadmill and then it stops. Because you're like, first off, you gotta, you gotta keep your heart rate up. Not just for like working out purposes, but like psychologically it just feels, no thank you. Psychologically it just feels like you're starting from zero again and then you gotta add- like, the first part of the run that's now yeeted to the second part for analytics purposes. So, yes, I am, I'm being super greedy here. And I, I know that I'm taking damage. Why am I doing this then? Well, it's hilarious that one of those was power pill. But I'm doing it because uh, I thought that the opportunity to get uh, more KB and Conception plays and possibly also get... Uh, like Magic Mush, I thought it was worth it, honestly. I thought it was worth it. So an arcade would be sick on this floor, especially if we started right next to it, but we'll, we'll work on that, we'll work on that. There's no rush. I think we're really making a good job of uh, of having KB and Conception here. You know, Incubus and Succubus are both incredible items. Even, so like the, the new gym I uh, go to, and by go to, I mean used to go to um, before, you know, the current times happened. <laughs> um, when I when I did my like opening interview slash consultation slash they try to sell you personal training services, um, they were like, "Yeah, when you come in, like you're supposed to put one of these like devices on that detects if your heart rate stops." But like, it's really just a suggestion, and I was like, "All right, got it." <laughs> I have never seen anyone in the gym wear one. I love safety. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of safety. I mean that sincerely. Um, I uh, like I said, wear a helmet when I ride my bike. Have always worn my seatbelt when I drive or am driven. I, I'm sure you probably feel the same because we're from like the same generation, largely. Looking at my demographics. Um, 
I do not feel right being in a car without my seatbelt on. It's like... It's like going outside for a job interview without having brushed your teeth. I'm sorry. <laughs> so what happened there? Um, I got concerned that I was going to blow up the demon judgment. So I... Tried to move to take out the regular judgment. I don't really care if we if we lose this life on us. Oh, we're not gonna because we have the nail here. Um, and I, I'm not worried about getting this yeeted right off the bat either. Because, like, you know, we got another one just backing us up. But, um, but I guess everybody probably feels the same way, right? Everyone's like, I don't mind safety. I just don't like the safety precautions that are stupid. I guess it just depends where you draw the line. I mean, I, like... The, tr the treadmill stuff, like the, the clip on the treadmill, I'm like, I get it. And you're going to make me say it, so I'm going to say it. I get it. If you have a heart condition or you're, like, old, of course. Sensible. If you don't think that you have a heart condition, you don't have a history of chest pains or something like that, and you're not old, then it seems a little bit overly precautious, you know? The irony, of course, and it, it's definitely not lost on me. The irony is I'm scared of, like, riding a roller coaster where accidents almost never happen. Oh, I'll take it. I know there are some situations where they've happened, and they're very gruesome. You don't need to regale me, I promise you. Um, but I'm, I'm apprehensive when I ride a roller coaster, but, you know... A situation that's much more likely, like your heart stopping when you're on a treadmill. I'm like, eh, you know. Plus, uh, but then, to be fair, I'm also like, what do, what do I care? It, like, if my heart stops when I'm on the treadmill, I'm going to be way more concerned about my, my heart having stopped than I'm going to be about, like, oh, yeah. And then after my heart stopped, the treadmill uh, threw my lifeless body, you know, like one foot away. Big deal. Like, I, I got bigger problems. <laughs> anyway. I don't know what I'm talking about. Like, genuinely, I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't take my advice on this stuff. I, I have a really good piece of advice you should take, though, which is only take streamer's advice under certain situations. If a streamer is echoing the advice of the experts in a field, you should take their advice. If a streamer is hitting you with a hot take, that is completely the opposite of experts' advice, and they have no experience or expertise in that uh, field whatsoever, it's your duty to ignore them. It might even be your duty to go to their chat and type forehead. Just to, just to keep them in place. You know, the same way in the Roman times, Mark Antony would be walking down the, the streets of the fora. Someone will whisper in his ear, you are, an, you are mortal, you are mortal. One day you're gonna die. Streamers, it's very easy for them to get a big head. It's very easy for you to think you're important. You always need to, occasionally, you need someone in chat going forehead. I'm telling you. By the way, if you're not familiar, forehead is a Twitch emote that kind of like implies that what the streamer said was dumb, or at least it's not as simple as they're making it out to be. Just buy a house, forehead, etc., etc. Just build. Just build is such a weak mentality, by the way. Um, keep moving. You're doing great, sweetie. Keep it up. I'll live with that. That was a really good haul, dude. That's like, you should put some oats with that haul. So anyway, that's what's been going on in my life. Honestly, I've started to forget what it was like to like be able to leave the house frequently. I'm in it for the long haul, by the way. Like, I still... I, I hesitate how much to go with this, because it's like... It, I know it's a mental health issue for people. Like, some people start to lose their minds when they, uh, you know, stay cooped up for too long. And I, I get that, like, it sucks. I'm not rooting for, like, the virus, obviously. At the same time, though, I see some of these comments that are like, you know, I, oh, I've been in, not, not from you guys, but like, you know, from the front page of the internet, if you know what I mean, um, where people are like, I've been inside so long, I almost thought about throwing a party this weekend 
just because I haven't seen my friends in so long. And then I decided, no, better not. And people are like giving them pats on the back. I'm like, well, it was, sure. It was the right thing to do to like not throw the party. But like, why were you even thinking about it to begin with? Like, I don't want to... I don't want to be too negative because they did the right thing, right? This is based on a real comment that I saw, by the way. This is not a straw man for once. Although it is a, it's a digital straw man because it is an anonymous internet comment. But it's like, you know, we like we as a people have to like band together to like do our own part in this. It's been two weeks, and you you, you couldn't go two weeks without like throwing a kegger. You know, like, 70 years ago, well, actually, now that I think about it, it's more like, hold on, let me do some math. 80 years ago, there we go. Everybody had to, like, turn their lights off as soon as the sun went down in order to be in solidarity so, like, bombers wouldn't know where cities were. <laughs> and, and would, ah, I know, but I've kept the lights off for so many nights in a row. What's the worst that could happen? I'd really like to read this novel, you know? Like, you... Human beings have, have sacrificed more than we've sacrificed to, to get to this point, you know? We gotta stay together. Like, what if we... I, and I keep coming back to this. And I think people are doing a great job, to be honest. By and large, yeah, there's lots of videos and stuff of people that are like, you know, breaking social distancing and breaking quarantine. Those people are just like... I don't know. They're, they're the kind of person that's just like, if you tell them not to do something, they just want to do it more, you know? It's the kind of person that's uniquely suited to get manipulated by reverse psychology. Don't give me your money, you know? Maybe that's not completely fair, but, you know, that's where I'm going to go with that one. But, like, it's still... You know, we we may face, as, as, a, as a species, like, some serious stuff that is you know, more severe than this virus, even over the course of our lifespan. The idea that, like, being inside... And by the way, I recognize that, you know, it's not just being inside. You know, maybe people have lost their jobs. You know, people are unable to uh, do the hobbies that they relied on to keep them, like, grounded. I'm not trying to, to mock them for, like, being weak or something like that. But it's rather, like, you know... I don't want to say get used to it. <laughs> but I'm like... this. There may well come times when, you know, we, we have to make greater sacrifices than merely staying indoors. So I think, uh, you know, if anything, at least it's a good teaser. I'm not, I'm not like a, as the internet would describe, I'm not a doomer. Like, I don't believe that, the, that human civilization is destined to fall apart. But I also do believe in, you know, science and, and climate change. And like, really, like, climate change and epidemiology and vaccinations are like the only things, the only even slightly controversial issues that I try not to cover with any nuance whatsoever because I think that does the Earth a disservice by being like, well, there's good arguments on both sides. You know, I, I'm not about that. Sorry. Um, but at the same time, I'm like, man, if we need pats on the back just for staying inside, we, I, my, my current hunch is like we got a rough sailing ahead. People won't even like compost. They're like, it's stinky. Did you read the UN report that says we only got 60 years of topsoil left? We got, <laughs> we gotta start composting. We gotta start building a time machine so we can go back and compost. Anyway, I'm not trying to rattle people's anxieties. I'm actually, um. You know, I, I think uh, I'm, I'm recording this around the end of March. In the first week of March, I was more alarmed about uh, COVID-19 than I think most people in this space were. You know, most streamers who stream video games. Um, now, I, I'm actually, like, more optimistic. I think it's, it's cool that... Man, talk about whiffs on these items, but people have come together and, and they're doing their part and most people are, you know, to some extent at least listening to the scientists and the number of people who are like, I don't really see it as like a big deal. Like, I mean, it's, I, I get that it's like whatever, like you don't want to get sick, but at the same time, did it have to ruin the basketball season? I don't see too many of those people anymore and I, I'm, I'm thankful for that. Um, but at the same time, I am like, you know, this is... Uh, it's a good test, let's put it that way. I also will admit that I'm 
as mentioned, kind of uniquely well suited. I already like being inside in the first place, and then like on top of that, my job is unaffected, so I recognize without a doubt I'm coming from a, a serious place of privilege. By the way, I saw I, I mentioned this. I've been talking about the virus on and off because it's like, you know, I'm not sure if you know. It's like big news. I noticed that like on a few episodes ago, one person tried to take my con my comments out of context and be like, "Why are you bragging that your life's so good in the virus? You know like some people are losing their jobs and blah blah blah." And then like 12 people were like, "Hey, dude, you know like he's Mention that every single time that he's just talking from personal experience and also has sympathy for all the people that are going through it And if anything has been talking about it for so long that raising awareness about it and I'm not saying I'm like a hero But I was raising awareness of it before most people were beyond the stage of like well, it's just the flu so uh, I, I Really when I saw those comments it brightened my day. I was like, thank you for keeping this guy honest He obviously just wanted some clout that was like uh, you know, hey, check out the streamer from his ivory tower is being a jerk. Not being a jerk, but, you know. Being a jerk would be like, you know. Hey, dude, so many people are inside because of the virus. My job's going great. I hope it never ends. That's very jerky, which is why I put on my jerk voice, which apparently is also the voice of a ninja turtle. <laughs> Radical, dude. But, um, no, I would never say that. I don't even, you might be expecting the, the sting on that joke, which is, I think it, no, I, I don't even think that. Like, people have been asking on occasion, they'll be like, you know, have you noticed an uptick in viewers thanks to the, the stream? And I'm like, I guess, or th not thanks to the stream, but thanks to people being inside. And I'm like, I guess, but I don't even like to acknowledge it, because this, like, you know, a lot of things would raise viewership. You know, a nuclear bomb forcing everybody inside, but leaving the infrastructure intact. You know, I don't want to... I don't want to take pleasure in a situation that's bringing anyone misery. I guess, it, at the end of the day, I'm taking no pleasure from the isolation. But rather, I, I'm blessed to not be as uh, affected by it, because I was already a homebody in the first place. But I do miss elements of being outdoors, for sure. I never thought I would say it, but, you know, because I've always been kind of more of like a eat as fast as possible takeout guy. I kind of miss being inside of a restaurant. It's, it's been, I don't know, maybe closing in on, eh, it's probably only been three weeks. Because I remember we, we got ramen, so it hasn't been that long. But we got ramen, like, maybe in the first week of March. And I do want to say... In hindsight, we shouldn't have, but also, most people back then, myself included, were kind of like, yeah, it's bad, but it hasn't really, like, popped off yet. Um, you know, people now are are judging, uh, like, I, I, let me, I'll give you another example. I saw a picture um, that somebody posted on social media, and it was taken from the NBA All-Star game, which was in, like, the third week of February. And then someone replied and was like, uh, aren't you supposed to be practicing social distancing? And then someone replied to that and went, hey, this is from the NBA All-Star Game. It's from the second or third week of February, so it was a long time ago. And somebody else went, yeah, well, she should have been practicing social distancing back then. Let me start by saying, probably true. <laughs> On an epidemiological context, yes, but, like... Nobody was doing it. I don't, I don't mean like everybody knew they were supposed to, but nobody was doing it. I mean like literally. People were like, you know, eh, it's a big deal, but it seems like another part of the world's problem right now. I'm not sweating it too much. You know, you can't you can't hold people uh, accountable to that degree. You know, especially because you know anybody who's a lay person has to wait for the experts in the first place in order to conceptualize and you know understand how to put their opinion on something. Well, most people at least. Anyway, so, uh, this is just my two cents. But yeah, I remember when we got ramen. Um, it was like a week before the day that all sports were canceled and Tom Hanks got it. So the world, well not the world, but North America at least woke up. Um, help. Help me. 
I wanted that penny. I don't know why I wanted it, but I don't like that you took it. Um, and I remembered that we were eating next to two women who were going on a cruise. And they were like, it's like a big deal, but like, I don't, I don't think they should like cancel the cruise. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> it's my most likely chance to be exposed. This is these ladies right here. Thankfully, that was a long time ago. I appear to be safe. Thank you for your concern. Anyway, it's a touchy subject, so we can move on. But I hope everybody's doing okay. I've gotten a lot of messages. I'll respond to the messages like this, okay? A lot of people have said, NL, thanks for making, you know, your content. It has made isolation and quarantine, social distancing much more palatable. Um, it, it goes both ways. You don't need to thank me. I do appreciate the thanks. You don't need to thank me, you know, I'm just doing my job, ma'am. I'm happy to do it, and if anything, I feel like, uh, I don't want to sound too saintly necessarily, but I feel like uh, even more um, pull to make sure that I'm, like, putting out decent content and really, like, not necessarily putting out more videos, but making sure that the videos I put out, like, I'm in a good mental state and I'm, like, as energetic as possible without it appearing way over the top and... You know, that I, I'm, I'm bringing my A game, or at least my B-plus game, to as many of those episodes as possible, right? Um, just because I know that more people than ever are like... Well, maybe not than ever. I mean, come on, when Rebirth came out, numbers were off the charts. But more people than usual, maybe, are um, not only watching them now, but also using them for a form of, uh, if not distraction, because we've been talking about it for, like, the whole episode here, but, you know, for a form of, like, simulating their usual routine and, you know, like, a form of comfort, and you get the idea. I think we should just Emperor right away. So I, I, I definitely feel, like, more responsibility to do that. Um, and it's a two-way street, you know, that... I'm dealing with the effects of isolation and quarantine myself as well, even if it doesn't affect me as much as it affects other people. So I appreciate having a community that is as positive and supportive of that stuff as well. So in lieu of responding to every single message like that individually, I will instead say thank you en masse and, and it is much appreciated. I will also say, you know, I'm sorry if like bringing up stuff related to the... Um, the virus has, you know, it, it puts people back in the mindset of thinking it's real. I said it earlier. I mean, first off, it's not my intention to be like, we're all gonna die! It's more my intention to be like, you know. The longer you ignore a problem, the more work and sacrifice you gotta do to get out in front of it. Which I think we're kind of living through. The repercussions of only discovering it, probably, or caring about it at least later than we should have. And, you know. Everybody has a role to play in the ownership of that, but mostly like public policy and governments and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, don't hate me. I am gonna take mom's knife. <laughs> We're gonna win regardless. This doesn't change that, but it's just it's it's the most potent damage dealer. Soy milk would leave us uh, in the lurch a little bit, I think. But um, you know, I, I said earlier in Isaac, I really think like there's two kinds of people that when it comes to like a crisis like this. There's people that, like, they want to digest every piece of information about something. Uh, and that's what helps their anxiety. And then there's people that are like, I just want to read the headlines and then not think about it again for the rest of the day. And it might uh, alienate you a little bit, but... Hold on, there's people outside my window. <laughs> Pointing at me. Hello. They don't recognize me. I know you're like, how do you know they don't recognize you? I, I hate to say it, but they're like two 70-year-olds with like an 8-year-old. I'm pretty sure they're just like, Hey, sweetheart, look, that guy's playing a video game. And is that... Oh my god, he's got a knife! Um, but yeah, whether... By by hook or by crook, I'm one of those guys who's like... You know, when there's, when there's an anxiety-inducing situation, I kind of want to like... I want to immerse myself in it. That's That's what helps me, so... Just different strokes for different folks. They're gone, don't worry. Well, I think I'll press the space bar and then walk into this enemy. And that will probably do it. I told you we don't lose. We don't miss. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I'm in the comments. I'm replying. I'm responding. 
Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. See ya!